Alright, welcome to the Community Roundup video for Cosmic Reach for March 12th, 2024. Today, Cosmic Reach 0.1.3 came out, and there's a bunch of reactions to these posts, it's pretty crazy. And there's two things really uh, to note here on my side. So one of the bullet points is introduced block events, triggers, and actions. And this is just a little bullet point, but it actually means a whole lot. So what this is, is I think when you right click on a block, um, it triggers an action or an event, I guess you could call them. A lot of things in this game are moddable. The game is kind of built with a data oriented approach, so you can change things in JSON files and people have been building easy to use tools for modding, which I haven't gotten into yet, but I'm sure I will soon. I just haven't had the time to do it yet. And this is a big deal, because you can make things actually happen now in the game. And along with this, some things were actually added into the vanilla game that I can show you right off the bat. Alright, so here we are on my 100 subscriber world that I started here. I just released that video. And as you can see, we've got two new blocks here, really. We've got this black one, we've got its slabs, and we've got this one here, which I think is called a boom block. It's kind of like a note block in Minecraft. And to demonstrate the triggers slash actions slash events, we can place down one of these unlit lamps. So if we change the lighting to nights, you can see that it's not glowing. And if we right click on this, it actually starts glowing. So this doesn't actually work for any of the other colors yet, but it's coming. And then we have the slab as well, but there's a little glitch right now with this where if you toggle it on and off, whoops, if you toggle it on and off, it'll turn into a full block. And then if we lay down one of these sound blocks and right click it, we get this sound. And as you can imagine, this is probably going to add another creative dimension to the game, so really nice. In addition to that, in the mods channel, I fixed up the tags at the top here for each of the form posts. I added some new ones, and then I went back and I retroactively added the correct tag, or what I believe to be the correct tab, to every single post in this forum. So that took a long time, but it's done now. And now whenever you post anything to any of these form channels, it is required that you use a tag. And if you're not sure which tag to use, just click on the other tag. And if it belongs in a different category, then a moderator will change the tag for you into what it belongs. Same thing with suggestions. I changed some of the tags and then added some new ones. And it's also required that you use a tag here. And same thing, if you're not sure which one to use, just use other. And I went back and retroactively added a tag to all these as well. And that took more than a long time. I think there's gotta be at least a hundred of these, maybe around 200. I'm still working on the issues form, but this one isn't as bad because there's only two options, crash and bug. Another quick thing to note here is that in, a previous, in one of my previous community roundups, I mentioned pinging me along with a message link to the message you want me to showcase for this video. Continue doing that, please, if you're doing that at all. And what I'm doing now to better organize myself to make this less stressful is I created a little server here, Tortellini Soup Discord server, that only I have access to. And I'm saving all the message links throughout the day that I see that I want to talk about. So let's start going through those. So the first one I have here is a post from Final Four Each that says, Just had an initial consultation with a lawyer today. There doesn't seem to be any major roadblocks as far as I can tell. Making it open source is looking promising. So he was on the fence when I talked to him about actually making it open source. There are some issues with that. And uh, I guess just more maintenance things and stress related things that have that come with making something open source. And of course, perhaps some legal issues, which is why he's talking to a lawyer in the first place. But it does seem like he's going to release it eventually. And the next thing is in Game Screenshots channel. This person made a nice little logo for the game, a custom logo. This is Cosmic Reach. And I really liked how the O was a moon. I think that's a nice touch, and of course it fits the game right now, but I'm not sure how it's going to fit the game going forward once potentially new planets are added and things like that, but really nice. The next thing I wanted to showcase is in fan music. This was actually posted yesterday, but I didn't listen to it before, so I'm going to play some of it now.
So a really kind of somber and a nice little song for maybe like a sad cutscene or something. Next post is about a... So I had a little confusion about this one. For some reason I thought this was done in Cosmic Reach. I just wasn't paying attention that there's an ocean in the background and all these Minecraft blocks and Minecraft textures. This was actually done in Minecraft, but the interesting part is that it's a painting of a house in Cosmic Reach. So Cosmic Reach has officially invaded Minecraft. And another comment by final for each who says, a poll will be out on Saturday, but the consensus is probably multiplayer. And this is in response to the three options he gave in his final video of remaking Minecraft of what he should work on next. And here's an underground lab from Fun Dimension that I thought was pretty neat. There's a lot of people making some interesting builds in the background who don't post much. So here's the entrance to the lab. And this one in particular I think is the most interesting to me. It kind of reminds me of Portal, Valve's Portal game, with the well-architected overhead lights. There's not much to them, but the vertical slabs like that, it's not something you see in Minecraft, because Minecraft doesn't have the vertical slabs. And then we're using horizontal slabs for the lighting, and those are just some really nice lights. And uh, the main thing that reminds me of Portal here is these windows, the observatory rooms. And we have a little scientific garden area, and a room with some resources in it, and a question mark exclamation item block in this glass container. Wonder what that could be. And a room with a little submersion pool. So very nice. And this is pretty nifty as well from You Can't Beam. It's his first little build. Tried making an old-timey house that juxtaposes with sci-fi machinery in the backdrop. Looking forward to whatever redstone-like system is developed for the game to make this stuff come to life. And the main one that caught my eye here is the bottom right with the yellow basement. I really like this stair design. You have the wooden planks and then you have vertical slabs of logs. And then over here you have a log desk that has a vertical slab and two full blocks and then a horizontal slab for the seat. At least I think that's a desk. I guess it could also be like a, a log bed, but I don't know why you'd sleep on a log bed. And the yellow lighting really does it justice too. And last thing, it looks like these community roundup videos are doing pretty well. The first one has 162 views, the second one has 129, and the third one already has 384, which is pretty crazy. And I'm glad everyone's enjoying them, and it's really enjoyable for me to make, especially after creating this private Discord server and being able to just link back to previous posts throughout the day. It's a lot less stressful for me. So that's it for today, and thank you for watching.